Now, isn't that pretty? I don't know what that thing down there is, but let's go and find out. Whee! Ooh, it's a hut. I want to find out what it's in there. Even if it kills me. Sneaky, sneaky. Is there... A, is there a way in there? How do we get... Oh, there's another one. How do we get in here? Reveal to me your secrets. Is there even a door? It's just painted on. No. Ah! Oh, God. No! Ah! Ah! Is there nothing in here? My quest for adventure has only brought me death and destruction. Captain I Bulge? Bulge Eye? It's weird. You're gross. You're gross and I don't like you. Oh. Hello everyone and welcome to Gaming FTL. My name is Josh and this is Salt by Lava Boot Studios. It's a kind of piratey exploration and crafting and uh, open world procedurally generated game. I'm sure you have heard of all of those things before in games. This one is a little bit different um, in the fact that it has sailing and if you will uh, see to your direct front there is a massive ship and that ship is mine because I spent ages and ages and ages and I will get onto that later um, collecting all the resources to repair it. It was just floating out by an island like a million miles in that direction. It's floating around just in disrepair and I collected stuff and I made it better and now it is mine and it's cool. It's just epic. I'll show you that hopefully at the end of the video. Um, the game is all about collecting resources. Ooh, I've never seen a mushroom before. Red spotted mushrooms, they're the ones that don't kill you? I don't know. Um, you find stuff all over different islands. There are multiple islands that you can get to and explore. And it's really, really cool just being able to go between islands and sailing. I was a I think Wind Waker is my favorite game ever at the moment. It's it's one of them, at least. And um, exploration is also a thing that I absolutely adore being able to do. Um, this game fills both of those boxes. It ticks them off quite nicely. Uh, it's still in early access, or like... It's not on Steam, but it's an alpha build that you can purchase from the developer's website. Uh, as I normally say with all non-finished games that are available to purchase, unless you genuinely want to help the developer um, build their game and support them while they do that, do not buy the game until it's finished, just so you know like all the features are in there and all of the uh, like it's it's a complete package basically but um, I've been enjoying this I, I got like a press copy to play around with you start off on an island um, hang on I'm just gonna collect all of these things and maybe see what crafting things I can do with them in a, in a little bit uh, you start off on an island with nothing I've got tons of cool things now, but I've been playing for a few, quite a few hours now. I can't recall how many, but you get a crafting book and this. Um, it, it basically says, I found you. You were pretty pretty dead looking, but um, you might want to make a, cra a sail craft and get out of there. So that's what I did with this. Oh, 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 bugs. Uh, here we go. This UI is horrible by the way. Um, yeah, uh, there's various things you can build with resources that you collect, and uh, there's boats also. I, I kind of want to build the sailboat, but it's very difficult to get seven hardwood on your person at the same time, because it's used for all sorts of different things, and it's really, really rare, and that's something I want to talk about. The problem one of the problems I have with this game, because there are there are several, I mean, they're all fixable entirely, but one of the problems I have with this game is the scarcity 
and the way that you collect resources. You get stuff basically given to you uh, at random. These things, I guess they have spawn points or something, but every now and again you will find uh, logs on the floor. You can't chop down trees, um, and it's just, there's no real skill to it. There's no uh, looking in specific places for specific things. Uh, there's no exploration or um, knowledge or skill needed to acquire um, certain objects and resources. It's all random. You get various different things from a certain type of rock, uh, and some of some of them are really rare. Is that? That's not my shit. That's that's a different one, right? Or am I going crazy? <laughs> uh, uh, what was I saying? Yeah, there's no skill to it. And also, uh, another entirely unrelated frustration is cliffs. Oh my god, cliffs. I want to explore an island. I don't, I don't care about cliffs. People can climb up cliffs. It's not, it's a thing people do. It's heard of. People know that it exists, and yet you can't do it. It gets in your way, and it really, really, really annoys me. And it's one of the few things about the exploration in this game that I genuinely despise. The rest of it's great. Procedural islands, awesome. Travelling around on the sea, ace. Climbing up mountains and being pushed back down them because you chose the wrong angle to walk at, butts. That is pure butts. Um, uh, and it, it, it sucks. Did I get? I got wood log. I'm looking for hardwood. Good. <laughs> uh, I just realised what I said. Um, I'm looking for hardwood because I want to make that sail bait, uh, sail boat even. Um, there are several types of islands. See, this one here is kind of uh, a pin, uh, like a mountain with trees on it. That one over there is like a really rocky one. It doesn't have any trees. Probably lots of pirates that you can kill. I'm going to go over there in a second to show you um, how to kill stuff. I got this axe off of a pirate captain. Uh, it was hard, and I kind of spoofed him because the combat in this is really, really rubbish at the moment. Um, the best thing about it is the bow and arrow, but uh, the AI is not smart. They are not, they are not smart people. I mean, they're pirates, which is... It's understandable that they're not smart, but still, combat is not fun. Uh, <laughs> you can get some cool loot from pirates, though. I'm going to try and murder one, show you how it works. You basically run backwards, and if if anyone is familiar with running backwards in video games, it's it's not the best. Um, I, I should keep keep in mind that I'm being highly critical of this game, because I have been enjoying it, and I want it to be awesome. I want it to be the best game ever um, when it's released. Um, and I have been enjoying it. So don't take my criticisms as, oh, this game is rubbish, uh, don't buy a look at this, it's, it's rubbish, and you shouldn't even, you, like, forget about it, but don't. Don't forget about this, it's going to be cool, hopefully. Uh, there are a lot of, there's a lot of work to be done, as all early access and non-finished games do, uh, normally... That's, that's expected. I'm rambling now, but that's expected. Oh, and there's a treasure chest over there. I killed a pirate and got his key, which I don't know if that's rare or not, but that's the first time we've been able to do it. Right, let's kill this guy with a bow. And show you... Ah! Okay, yeah, and this is, this is how smart they are. Get out of the way! You kind of have to hope that they don't kill you, because early on... They are not that easy to, to kill. Look at my axe. It's got like 20 damage axe. And you start off with a club, or you can start off with a club, and that does five. So don't expect to kill stuff easy and, and run away a lot. Um, there's more pirates over there. Butts to pirates. I don't want to kill pirates. Pirates are boring. Actually, pirates are awesome. This, this kind of piratey... Um, 
feeling to it is really cool. What I like is the fact that while you can have a sail, uh, like sailing raft, in your inventory, and you can just pop it out for convenience out of your inventory like that. Oh, you just kind of press the E button on the side to get in. It's kind of cool. Um, you press that to to open the sail, and then you press E on that and drag your mouse left and right to change the direction of the rudder. That's cool. That is fun. Feet like being in control in that amount of depth is really awesome. So let's have a look at my boat. My boat. If I can get on it. There we go. <laughs> uh, where, where do I want to go? Let's open the sails and get to the uh, tiller um, wheel quickly so I don't crash into anything. That's kind of sucky. Not being able to open stuff. But I guess like it adds a level of, I don't want to say realism or immersion, but realism and immersion. Well, maybe not realism, but you know, it, it makes you feel in control in a very specific sense. You know exactly what you've got to do. You just got to press a button, things happen, uh, and you just, you just can't run fast enough to get between two places. If you go too close to the shore and you turn that uh, sail on and then you have to run all the way up here I crashed I crashed a lot let's see if we can get some really choppy waves because that's another kick-ass thing about this game it's so cool uh, and also bring up this uh, compass let's go south a little bit we going we going south come on this way what I'm hoping for eventually in this game is uh, things along the lines of storms because al already you can see there's a difference in the choppiness of the waves and that gets really exaggerated later and it's awesome, it really is cool. Um, things like sea battles, cannons, uh, crew, uh, there's a day and night cycle that you haven't seen yet but there's like also a waiting thing. You can build a campfire and wait so you don't have to walk around in the dark. That's kind of useful. Not related to what I was talking about, but I thought it'd be handy to know if you're going to play this game. Um, and just kind of riffing off of the pirate seafaring uh, storms and um, different weather and there are phases of the moon in this I've noticed. Like, when the moon comes, comes up, you might see it. Oh, there's a giant island. Awesome. I want to I wanna do more sailing, so I'm going to go this way. Cool. Bye. Bye, island. Nice to meet you. Bye-bye. This way a bit. There we go. Um, and the wind doesn't affect anything <laughs> right now. You just kind of turn on the sail and you go forward. Hopefully, the there will be wind mechanics, you know, sailing alongside into um, the wind. That sort of thing uh, is kind of expected, actually, of, of this kind of sailing game. Uh, I don't know, just tides, that sort of thing, would be absolutely amazing. And I can't wait to see what kind of features they put in this. Um, it's just those few frustrations that are, are with me at the moment. Hopefully they'll be, you know, changed, adapted, improved, fixed, all that sort of thing. Um, and when, oh, look at this choppy wave, that's so cool. Oh, dude. If you sail at a certain angle, I think, hang on, let's save. Save? I don't know why I said save. Let's turn this direction, like, across the waves. Oh, the waves are so huge out here. That's awesome. <laughs> if if a wave catches you right, the boat sways ridiculously. It's awesome. Um, and I can't wait for this. Oh, shit. No, I didn't. Oh, cool. 
Well, I, I want to get back in the ship. Let me get back in the ship. I want to get back in the ship. No! Oh god, no! No! Boat! Come on, ha hang on, hang on. I need... There's, there's music as well. Come on! Come on, we've got to get our boat back! Okay, I think this is the time where I will, like, revert to an earlier save. <laughs> Thank you everyone for watching! Uh, if you have enjoyed my video, please do give it a like. And if you want to see more awesome indie games, subscribe for daily videos. And do check out this game. So until next time, goodbye! <laughs>